BootlegCap.com live South by Southwest. You know, man, that BKXSW. We at the showcase. My dude been hanging out backstage, man. Having a good time. Awesome Crown Royal out here. Yeah, you already know. I'm just out here living. My South by is done. She easy. Here. I did my shows yesterday. I did my interviews today. So I'm just chilling, trying to experience South by for the couple hours I got. Right. I met you last year at South by, um, and uh, you were like, you were selling out like, you know, 600 person venues. Yeah. yeah. Then I got my boys in Phoenix like, yo, the fuck is this g Easy guy? He sold out Marquee Theater. Yeah. Like, man. We're just, we're just trying to get it, man. It's been, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like a mentality. It's a philosophy towards the world. It's like, always stay hungry. Always keep pushing yourself. And just, you know what I mean? The hunger for more, you know? It's just like, keep putting everything in place and keep making the moves to just take steps forward. What do you think has been like the key to you um, connecting with fans? Because you're a perfect example of, of you know, a funk volume, a, a Macklemore who, who, who just organically built a fan base and it turned into a major situation. But what do you think has been key, the key thing that kind of you knew it's catching on? Like, Right. I mean, what you just said is really important to stay organic. Um, another thing, people, people take this for granted, but it's like consistency means so much. Another thing is like identity and just staying true to oneself, knowing who you are and knowing who the music is, knowing who the artist is and where everything lies, you know, and just being consistent with that and releasing music regularly, you know, servicing the fans and just continuing to build. So many people, they reach a certain level and, you know, this comfort level starts to kick in. Right, right. You know, a content, like, all right, I'm good. Like, you know, like, uh, you know I'll be okay as, yeah. as long no, as I can. As long as I, yeah, fuck hey, that. I haven't taken care of my moms yet. I'm not good yet. You know what I mean? Like, you got to keep working. You got to keep, you know what I mean? Like striving for more. And that's, that's really what drives it. So a little birdie told me that, uh, if y'all don't know, he's from the Bay Area. And you might have E-40 on some shit. Hey, a little birdie might have just told you that, bro. Hey, I woke up the other day to a missed call from E-40. And for me, a kid growing up in the Bay, That's like fucking E-40 is Jay-Z. Yeah. E-40 is Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, Mac Dre and E-40 are the two gods, like, where I come from. So, you know, when we connected, I was just, like, starstruck to be on the phone with him. You know? So for him to say, like, you know, I've been hearing the noise about the music. I love the sound. I love the song. Like... That meant the world to me, so, you know, he sent me the verse. We, we just put it out today, man. It's just oh, like, shit. Honestly, I didn't even, I, man, yeah. I, I'm, I'm surprised blogs are, people are putting shit out today. All hey, the fucking bloggers man. are getting drunk yeah. out here. That's what they told us. They was like, yo, it's South by, man. You can't release some shit today. I was like, no. E-40 just gave me a verse on my song. We're putting this out for today. The, for the single? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a big deal, bro. Yeah. It's definitely a big deal. Talk about the album. Um, You know. Uh, you had just put out the 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 last album when I met you last year. Yeah. This album, you you got the fucking visuals, the balloons at the shows, yeah. and all this yeah. shit. The aesthetics are real nice. Nah, this album that. is like everything we wanted to do on the last one times ten. You know, the time we wanted to take, the effort, the attention to detail. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's really like this feels like my proper debut album to the world. You know what I mean? Boy, it it's your major label debut album. It's, it, it, it may be. Okay, well, okay. All we'll I know, all all I know is a certain label keeps blasting me Jeezy yeah. songs. <laughs> I'm not going to say who it is, but Jeezy might have fucked around and got, you know, you got some, nah, we're you, you might have a machine you know behind him. So. But it, it's inevitable, you know what I mean? Because a business is. outgrows itself, you know what I mean? You can only keep it inside a room for so long. But at the same time, what matters to me is the music staying authentic, the the brand, the identity, the relationship with the fans and everything staying true to everything that we've built for so long, you know? 100%, man. Well, yo, go get the album. Does the album come out? These things happen. It's coming soon. That ambiguous coming soon, but you know it is. And um, yeah, man, congratulations on Thanks, future man. endeavors that might be announced you already know. soon. I don't know. Yo, shout out Jeezy, though. Boot like Kev, you know.